and welcome to this week's Titan Tries. And as I was going through my list of random ass games to take another look at, uh, I stumbled across this one. This game is Lewd Apocalypse. And I have an interesting history of this game, actually. Um, so before we start, this is basically an adult parody kind of hentai-esque <laughs> indie game which is a parody of the resident evil kind of series now um how did i find out about this game well dear viewer i'm glad you asked so one of my friends actually did the i can't remember if she said she did the danish translation or the English translation for this game. And one day, she hit me up and she was like, Hey, um, so I've just done the translation for a game. Right, okay, cool. And she's like, hey, yeah, you want to check it out on Steam? It's kind of spicy. Now, I'm paraphrasing because this was years ago. I can't remember the conversation. And I was like, all right. And she goes, yeah, you should play it because it's, you know... It's a bit of fun, and I'm involved with it. So I, I looked at it, and I was like, oh, Jesus Christ. Um, okay. <laughs> and then I noticed the price. It's like 89p. I think at the time I bought it with all the DLC. Uh, I have noticed now that there are more DLC packs for it. Um, but it is a kind of side-scrolling shooter in the vein of Resident Evil. Now, I have done a little bit of research because I wasn't sure if this would actually be allowed on YouTube, but other people have done playthroughs of it. So there we go. <laughs> um, it's made by a small indie team and it looks like they specialize in games of this nature. In fact, they've got a couple more coming out. I think one's called like Lust for Speed, which is a Need for Speed style parody. And another one which I'm not really familiar with. But going through their Steam library, they actually have quite a few... Uh, games but this is the only one that i have any kind of knowledge on or uh, kind of interest in i should say um i don't know if i've actually completed this game it's not very long it's about an hour and change i think um and i have played it a couple of times especially when i've had mates around and we've wanted something for a laugh uh but i honestly don't know if i've completed it or not but anyway Let's take a look at Lewd Apocalypse. And it, this game literally cost 89p. Uh, is it worth it? Well, that's up to you guys. I, I had my fun with it. So let's check out the settings. Uh, so we've got the censorship option here. Uh, I think we're going to activate the censorship. I'm not 100% sure. Um... <laughs> <laughs> about this but let's go for it fuck it right we're just here for the lols so the company that made this game is called kgam and i can't find a lot of information about this game at all apart from the fact that it exists and it is a thing um okay so let's go oh wait hang on there is like a gallery mode which has a load of things that you can this is the censorship by the way uh that you can unlock if I mean, if if any, <laughs> if that's your thing, I mean, I guess this game has you covered, uh, more or less. So we can choose some outfits. Uh, this is obviously a nemesis who's going to be chasing us, and he has a few. <laughs> he has a few different skins. Uh, he's not actually called Nemesis in the game, but I mean, come on. Uh, this is our main character, who's called Lara, who's definitely uh, not supposed to be Jill Valentine. And we... Oh, dear. <laughs> I guess not everything censored, huh? So, yes, we have Jill Valentine, who is our main character. I 
think that's her default. I think. And then we have not Carlos, who could also be Leon, apparently. And Hunk. Curious. So let's have not Carlos. Actually, you know what? Let's go for Leon. There we go. So it's vaguely looking like Resident Evil, I suppose. Actually, you know what? Jill can go in that, I suppose. There we have vaguely recognizable characters. And let's play. Uh, oh, we must have completed. No, no. New Game Plus is grayed out. So there we go. I guess I guess I never did complete it. Um, so let's go new game. Uh, DLC weapons? DLC story, third way. I don't think I have the DLC story. Shame, I know. Uh, let's go for just normal difficulty so we can see. Starting a new game will erase all of your progress. <gasps> let's do it. Lara. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. You've attained the assault revolver. Press 1 or scroll the mouse wheel to swap your weapons. Okay. And this is basically the game. As we can see... It is a side-scrolling shoot 'em up And as soon as you clear the area, you can move on to the next. We've got barrels and things that we can shoot. We've got a health bar up in the corner. And we have, like, unlimited ammo here, which is interesting. It said push one to change your weapon, but I'm pushing one and nothing is happening. We shouldn't actually start off with this weapon. It should just be, like, the standard handgun, but hey... Who, who's who's worrying about things like that, right? Now, here's the crux of this game, though. It's actually quite a bit of fun. So, those monsters are everywhere. We need to find a safe place. We do. Dude! He's just called Dude. Oh, look at this guy. This guy kind of looks like uh, Darius. Uh, what? I just lost my doggy out there. How dare you ask me to go outside? Yeah, obvious reference is obvious. And what if I show you my boobies? Oh, ah, uh, right, yeah. So this is like a thing. Um, you do get these puzzles that you've got to complete. But I believe... Uh, you can just skip those. Yeah, I think that's what I did because I ain't got time for that nonsense. So you can skip the puzzles. OMG, no. What's wrong with you? Well, fuck it. I'm out. <laughs> and there, she's had enough. I guess uh, not everybody's interested in TNA. More TNA for the rest of us, am I right? Right, grab the knife. Waste some more zombies. My, my. The streets are positively alive. Oh, we're getting some achievos as well. Now, if we click on items, we can pick them up. I don't know how we scroll and change weapons. The game did tell us, but that doesn't appear to be a thing. Now, this music kind of reminds me of the films. Oh, look, it's Brad. Brad Chickenheart. Hang in there, Brand oh, Brandon. Love it. <laughs> Why isn't anyone doing something about those zombies? Lara, I'm glad you're still alive. The postmen aren't trained for zombie apocalypse situations. Ah, right, so I guess we are we're, we're postmen. <laughs> uh, sure. What are we going to do? We can hide inside the post office. Here, take this shotgun. Right, I believe things like shotguns actually have a finite amount of ammo. That, um, oh, the Saiga 12. Yeah, see, press 2 or scroll the mouse wheel to swap your weapons. Maybe now we can swap our weapons? Wow, thanks. But first, I would like to comfort myself a little. And, yeah, let's just say she relieves a little bit of stress. Okay, so we've got the shotgun now, but as you can see up here... We have a limited amount of ammo. But you can see the fire pattern on it actually changes. It's got a bit of a spread. And yes, we can indeed switch between um, our weapons here using the mouse wheel. So I guess if you play with a DLC weapon, you just can't select the standard gun, which is interesting. Let's just grab up all this ammo. Okay, so you don't click on the ammo. You just hover the mouse over it. Got it. Well, let's continue clearing the way. As you can see, it's not like super uh, lewd or anything like that. 
you know, I've seen much worse, shall we say. Brandon! Lara, we got a Sluts! <laughs> oh, I love it. So here's Nemi, although he's called Penises. Oh. <laughs> Brilliant. No! Uh-oh. No, Brandon! You monster! Brandon! Oh my god! Uh, we can fight the creature or escape to the post office. Well, we always fight the creature. Um, sluts. What, big boy? Do you want to play? Sluts. Yeah, yeah he's kind of like a one-trick pony. Want some fresh pussy? Oh, my. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of into that. Oh, right. Oh, I mean, I, I guess he... I guess he, uh... He gets his... <laughs> he gets to release some stress as well, I guess. Hey, I said no back door. Your cock's too big for my asshole. Oh, Jesus. I never thought I'd be saying this sort of stuff on uh, YouTube, but here we are, I guess. I said fuck off. It's not exactly what you said, is it? Get ready. Boss fight. So, we're going to break out... Oh. Guess our weapon is just crazy overpowered. Rest here for a while, dickhead. <laughs> Dead. You've obtained the key card to the sluts office. Beaver Post Office. Yeah. Um, so the town we're in is called Beaver... Or I should say the city we're in is called Beaver City. Poor Brandon. Wait, what's this? A sluts card. This should come in handy. So this is like every boy's little wet dream, um, I would imagine. Like, if I had this game when I was still in school, well, I probably would have played it a lot. <laughs> let's just say that. All right, let's crack open all these boxes. Can we not crack that one open? I guess not. We're getting a lot of knives. I'm not sure how the knives work. I think they're like defensive items. They only come into play when... The enemies get close to us. Oh, we can actually shoot the zombies coming into the uh, post office here, which is kind of cool. Kind of reminiscent of Resident Evil 2. All right, let's keep this zombie train going. So these armored zombies, well... Ooh, <laughs> there's a giant cock climbing across the screen. Yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll bump into that a little bit later. I guess we can't... Okay, so there's nothing else that's interactive around here. All right, how did you unlock the sluts office? We did. Oh, <laughs> evening. Well, there's a large pecker, isn't there? Time to go to town. Yep. So this is a liquor. Or I guess maybe it's called like a dicker or something. I don't know, but I wouldn't be surprised. Now, these guys have a bit of a cooldown on them, if I remember correctly. They will attack you um, if you give them too much time. You'll see they uh, brandish their um, <clears throat> head and then go for you. There goes my vacation. So, where's my desk? Ah, a lockpick. I'll take that. I wish there were some ammo and herbs. You have obtained the lockpick. Now you're the master of unlocking. Oh, I like the way it's a paperclip as well. Just sure. <laughs> no. So the radio is going. Prolapse. Okay. Prolapse radio. I mean, sure. In the town. No survivors. Mission accomplished. Evacuate immediately. You can play this game one-handed as well. I thought I'd just throw that out there. Rick! Right now. Hmm, what was that? Okay, now I have my lockpick. Now I can go through that locked door. There was a locked door? Okay. Oh! There's a giant cock monster. Yep, when they do that, that's when they jump at you, I guess. So yeah, uh, those self-defense knives do appear to 
one hit kill the enemies that try to attack you. I don't know if you still take damage or what. Not 100% sure. Now, interesting with these boxed items, you can still collect the items uh, if you've already cleared the screen and Lara is running. But you cannot shoot them when she's running off screen. So that's worth knowing. Oh, we got running zombies. How curious. I think we're doing more damage to the city than anything else. Hey, who's there? Hey, hey, babe. I'm a human. <laughs> yeah. The name's Rick. I'm a corporal with a special anti-zombie squad of cum corp. <laughs> sure, buddy. Cum corp. Okay. Who are you? I'm Lara. Wait a minute. You said you work for cum corp? Yeah, we were sent here to rescue civilian survivors, but as soon as we landed, things went horribly wrong. Sluts! Oh no, how did he find me? Uh, we're going to face the beast. Why should we fight when we can make love? Sluts. I hope you don't mind, Rick. Huh? You know that guy? We've met a couple of times. He's soft when you treat him gentle. <laughs> uh, I guess we end up having a threesome with all of them. Oh, that one does. Um, there we go. <laughs> Crunch. Oh, I didn't mean to bite you. Slats. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we pissed him off by getting a little bit too, uh, a little bit too uh, intimate there, I guess. So yeah, the I guess the red box that charges up on the enemy is kind of like your danger indicator. Now, Sugar, answer me some questions. Huh? You said you work for Cumcorp. Yes, ma'am. Our mission is to rescue civilians. How sweet, considering that Cumcorp started this lewd apocalypse. Listen, baby, we're just mercenaries. We got paid. We follow orders. How convenient. Don't be mad, pretty face. Here's my proposal. We leave this town. Well, I mean, that sounds good. I'm going to meet my squad for now. But if you accept it, join us. Uh, she's thinking about it. But before we accept that generous offer, wait for him to grow. Grow, biggie. There we go. Shoot him right in the head. It's like trapping, uh, trapping it in a zipper. It's never a good time. Okay, let's get to work. Nice multi kill. You know, one thing I will say about the visual presentation of this game is it's pretty good. Hey, we picked up a hundred items. Yeah, I guess I really didn't play this that much, huh? <laughs> Saving it for YouTube material, I guess. Man, how many knives can you pick up? I guess it's kind of unlimited. Hey, is anybody there? Come in, baby. Don't be scared. Nicole, instead of Nikolai, I guess. Gender swap Nikolai. Well, that's okay. We don't mind. Wow, it's nice to meet another woman here. You can't be sure and... <laughs> Oh, naughty. You can't be sure in 2020. Yes, very, very true. How did you survive in this nightmare? Hey, I'm not a civilian. BPO, Special Lethal Urban Tactics Squad of Postmen. Jesus, that's a mouthful. That's what she said. Sluts, huh? Cool. So, Lara, you decided to help us? We got to stick together, huh? I don't think we can trust her. Why? There's no other surviving postman. Her skills can come in handy. We'll check her skills in a moment. Oh my. Well, it looks like Nicole's uh, helping herself. Okay, that was not bad. <laughs> you can say that again. So, our goal is that clock tower. If the evac point is located there, 
When we give the signal, the chopper will come to grab us. It's pretty far away from here. That's why we use this tramway car. After we fix it. You can see it, it kind of follows the, the similar sort of um, Resident Evil 2 and uh, 3 thread. Rick, you get under the hood of the tram and prepare things to be fixed. I'll search for the fuse. As for you, pretty face, if you want to be helpful, go to the gas station and get us some gas. Gas? For the tramway? Well, okay, if you say so. Okay. Let's get rid of these runners first. Oof. Okay, you can actually kill those guys in transit. Which I wasn't sure about, to be honest. Yeah, this music really does remind me of the Resident Evil films, which is not something, to be honest, that I want to be reminded of, but here we are. Right, let's slap his willy around. Nobody likes that. Yeah, this, like, DLC gun is way more powerful than it should be. We shouldn't really be one-shotting the enemies. They do take a few, ki like, hits normally. Uh-oh. Knife in the face. I don't know if they carry on from playthrough to playthrough. It is kind of interesting that that's... Oh, we can destroy those as well. Okay, it's a gas station. There must be some gas. I think I see a couple of cans. You have gathered the fuel. Interesting that it calls it fuel here, which is like a Eng very English uh, thing to say. But it's gas, which is the American... Um, terminology which is curious oh what have we got here you have obtained the lonely dildo ah uh, okay I, d I don't know what that's for hey buddy you feel lonely let me warm you up oh right of course what else would it have been for eh <laughs> What a valuable artifact. I think I'll take you with me. Alright, well, I mean, sure, I guess. These guys are getting a little bit faster. Definitely getting a little bit harder to crowd control all these guys. Might actually have to switch up to a better weapon. Well, I mean, I say a better weapon. Funny enough. The um, the handguns are actually a better weapon. I think we can only hold a hundred shells at a time. That does seem to be the case. Yep, yep. The handgun oof, is definitely the better weapon here. This thing does eat ammo as well. So I'm guessing that's why we weren't picking up. Uh, shotgun shells for a while because we already had a hundred all right we have everything necessary we can go now well then let's do this okay that's cute fuck the brakes are out oh my god we're all gonna die here not today honey <laughs> audible screaming um Okay. I mean, we're still alive. This is a positive. Alright, let's get the shotgun going. Okay, yeah, so 100 rounds is maximum. Worth knowing, I suppose. So, I'm not really sure where the story in this game goes. I don't know if it ends at, like, the end of Resident Evil 2 or Resident Evil 3. I pass... Why can't I pick that up? I pick that up. Can't pick that up, though. I found a bug in this sticky mess. Uh-oh. Definitely want to switch up to something with a little bit more speed. I think that's the problem with the DLC weapon. It's just slow. It's very powerful, but it's slow. 
Lara, you're alive. What a pleasant surprise. Who taught you to drive a tramway car? Sergeant in the Navy. <laughs> yeah, Sergeant in the Navy taught me. Yeah, okay. There were tramway cars in the Navy? Nope. But we had stools and brooms. It's the same. <laughs> okay. Okay, what are we going to do next? First, we have to relieve our stress. Well, that was probably a good idea, to be fair. After all that searing action that we've had. Wow, we dealt with that one. <laughs> next, we must ring the clock tower's bell. That will be the signal for the evac chopper. But hasn't the clock tower been broken for a few years now? You mean... To send the signal, we have to fix it first. Don't be a square. This is a game convention. Wait, don't be a square. This is a game convention. Forget it. Look what I found. Oh, you've obtained the M404 rocket launcher. Press 3. Very nice. Oh, wow. Thank you. All right. So we got ourselves a rocket launch. Whoa. Okay. Definitely have not used that before. So, I'm guessing uh, I'm further in this game than I've been before. Well, there we go. Can we shoot the typewriter? I guess not. Right, let's deal with these dickers. I don't actually know if they're called dickers, but they are now. That's the canonical name for them in this game. Wow, there's a lot of dickers in here. And a lot of zombies. Shoot them in the sensitive parts. Like so. Plenty of shotgun shells, to be fair. Oof. Right, good stuff. Now, I'm pretty sure, like, if you get a game over... Let's just say the uh, zombies and monsters have their fun with poor old Lara. I think that's putting it lightly. Now, this sh these shotguns aren't great against armor either. Which makes sense. Oh, we can shoot the lights out as well. That's fun. Finally, this nightmare is over. And there's our helicopter. But then... Penisus decides to turn up. So if we actually hit him, that's kind of curious. Well, I thought if we hit him. Oh, I think we've got to actually shoot his tentacle. Alright. He wasn't that hard. Oh my god. I'm losing consciousness. Lara! I think she's still alive, but out. I must bring her to a safe place. Huh? Ah, fuck me hard. <laughs> okay. And there we go. I guess he's administering the cure. I hope she liked that. <laughs> Looks like that big dude infected her with a virus. Yeah, and you've just dicked her down. Probably not great. You've obtained the AK-69. Nice. There must be some cure in the local hospital. I guess so. Oh, this is cool. Automatic weapon. I'm guessing ammo for it is a little bit sparse. But maybe not. Maybe not. Let's grab as much as we can. Alright, hopefully we can build the ammo up. Right, nice. Not sure what max ammo for this weapon is. Hopefully it's somewhat generous. Come on, not Leon. Let's get this going. These zombies go down pretty easy. Brook Ground Hospital. Ooh, hello. What the fuck is that? We have 
fish hunters, I guess. All right, <laughs> sure. Why not? I mean, what did I expect, I suppose? Oh, hello. Red Papa, is that what they're called? Red Romeo. I don't know what half of these bloody achievements are about or for, to be honest. We just accept them. Accept them into the ever-growing pile of achievements that we have. Hey, cat pictures. It's not the only pussy we've seen today. Right, there we go. There's a lot of pharmaceuticals around here. Hopefully there's something we can use. Wow, another survivor. Catherine. Good evening, young man. What's the trouble? Hurry! I need a cure. I have some cure for you right here. <laughs> um. Oh, right. So this must be as far as I've got, maybe. Because I've got... Hang on. If I clicked that. Oh, that just kicks you back out of the game. Okay. So, I guess you can only skip the puzzles that you've made. I'm pretty sure somewhere you can turn them off. But, funny enough, we're on exactly half an hour. So, <laughs> I'm not sure why there's, like, a boot out, um, uh, kick out button. At least, it feels like a, you know, boss is coming button. Uh, so there we go. I've played a total time of 72 minutes on that. Wow. I had like four achievements when I started this. Good Lord. Good Lord. Well, anyway, guys, that was a random game. <laughs> scrolling through my... I'm just sitting here scrolling through my Steam library like, hmm, what shall I do today? Oh... Oh, I forgot about this little one. Anyway, guys, thoughts and opinions down below. If you do want to try the game out, it literally costs pennies. If we go to the store page. Uh, yeah, it, it's still 89p. Um, I mean, is it worth it? I, I think so. It's a bit of fun. Not really sure why I'm starting with all the special weapons if I haven't even completed the game. But maybe it's something to do with the DLC. I'm not sure. Anyway, thanks for watching. And as always, till next time.